Hello. So today we're talking about one of the classic questions I get, which is how long should you date somebody before you get married? Now, there's not a one size fits all to this, but there are a lot of things that we can talk about that are, I think, going to be helpful um, as you're considering this. So the thing that I would encourage you to think about right away is the the biggest variable that's going to shift this which is age you know we talked about the previous video and i encourage you to watch that too um but if you are let's say in your early 20s and you're dating somebody my encouragement from my experience working with people is to date for like three plus years right so in that time you're going to allow yourself to develop into the person you're becoming, the adult you're becoming, and you're also gonna see them develop into the adult they're becoming, right? You know, when you first start dating somebody in your early 20s, you're, you're getting a sense of who they are, both kind of as an adolescent and then also as an adult. So you're, it's this kind of mixed bag, and you don't really know what they're gonna be like, you know, the adult that they're gonna become. So it's more of a dice roll. If you get married to somebody after dating for like a year, um, you know a little bit just that <clears throat> much less about who the adult they're going to become. So it, it's a little bit more of a risk. Now, you know, if you're a gambling person <laughs> and you're like, you know, I like to roll the dice, then go for it. I'm not, who am I to stop you? Um, but, but it, you know, I, I've run into situations where people you know that are in their early 30s after having gotten married early um you know after like a year dating are like oh man if only i had let that develop a little more and and realize that i prioritize way different things than they do as an adult right so if you're in your early 20s give it three plus years meet their family spend a lot of time with their family meet their friends, you know, spend a lot of time seeing like what, what they want their social life to look like. Understand what you want, what you're looking for, what you prioritize in life. You know, all of those things are super valuable and you, you experience all those things in your twenties and you, as you develop and that's really important. So, and see how, how well you work together as you develop, right? That's, that's a big thing too. So three plus years, that's my, that's my kind of rule of thumb. And there is, it should be said, there's not a lot of research around this, right? The research around this is, is primarily focused on cohabitation, which I'll talk about in probably a later video, but, but it's not, there isn't like a, you know, um, well documented, you know, formula. So, you know, you're going based off my uh, anecdotal experiences, um, which obviously I have a lot of confidence in. So, um, so yeah, your early twenties, three plus years. Now, if you're in your later 20s or early 30s, what I would say is, you know, my rule that I tell people is four, give, give it four seasons, right? You meet someone in the summer, it's classic time for people to meet each other, right? Um, just wait till the next summer, right? And see what they're like, you know, in the winter time. Maybe, maybe, um, you know, you learn a little more through that. But when, when you are at that age, it, Usually, you know yourself a lot more, you have a lot more kind of going on in terms of internal and external resources, um, and you're able to make a decision quicker. So, so you'd have a little more confidence in marrying someone after, say, dating for a year, right? Um, but, but, you know, give, give it four seasons at least, right? You know, and give yourself some opportunity to really see what they're like in different situations. Um, now, with any of these things, it's, it's always a benefit if you can experience something really kind of challenging um, with a person before getting married. That's, that's the one thing I would say that is, is, is a great thing to experience. I know that, that might sound, you know, contradictory, but if you go through a challenge with somebody, you really see what they're like in those kind of situations. Because in, in marriage, you're going to go through probably seven to ten at least massively challenging things, right? Um, and, and you're gonna have to figure out how you deal with that as a couple, um, whatever that might be. And, and so if you can go through that, you know, at least one of those before getting married, then that is a huge advantage, right? You're gonna see that, witness that, build strength from that, right? And, and feel like we're, we, we can handle this. We can handle challenging things. Because I've seen it before where people get married and they've never been through something really challenging. And, and that first thing, you know, 
challenges them as a couple and it's diff they, they have a hard time with it sometimes that that's a real a point where couples can break up is that first significant challenge so that's one thing i would encourage you to to kind of um, think about with all of this is like hey have we been through anything challenging anything really difficult and if we have and we've we've learned a lot from it and we've grown from it and we feel stronger because of it then then i would say that's that's a good sign that you're ready um, now i would encourage you also if you're watching this video to watch my video on the right age to get married because i talk a lot more in depth about um, different ages and, and the kind of benefits of, of getting married at different ages and the drawbacks um, and also the video I have about the, um, how you know you're ready to get married. Um, so I'm going to link to those because um, that goes into some more detail about um, the other variables that inform this as well. Um, but like I'm saying, um, if you're in your early 20s, in your 20s in general, give it three plus years. Post 20s, late, late 20s to, and on, give it at least four seasons. Um, now, that's just to give yourself a better chance better probability um, like I said if you're if you're willing to roll dice <laughs> that aren't always um, loaded in your favor then go for it who am I to stop you um, but I'm talking about things that are going to lead you to have a more satisfactory marriage and and, and hopefully um, earlier on right than than, than not um, so that's that's what I'm talking about here today now a, a, a great chance a way to, to increase your chances of having a more satisfactory relationship is to do some premarital counseling if you go to launch to land.com um, I have my premarital readiness course and you can go through all the important conversations to get yourself ready um, regardless of where you're at how long you've been together um, so that that's a helpful way to um, accelerate you know some of some of those conversations give yourself a better chance at staying together um, and help you take off in the marriage you want all right thank you for watching today make sure you like and subscribe and head over to the website to learn more